Yo, what's up everybody? So, as you've seen in the shop update video, we got the turbos, we got the manifolds, we chopped down the manifolds, we got the Holly High Ram in, stopped marking things up. I wanted to do a video on the Flowtech LS up and forward manifold conversions from the LS to the small block forward. So as some of you may have seen, if you've been watching our channel pretty regularly, is we're swapping LS headers onto the small block Ford. The reason why we're doing that is because there's a lot of cheapo, or I should say budget, headers for the small block Ford. Unfortunately, especially turbo headers, unfortunately they're all down in Ford, and there's a lot of options for up in Ford budget stainless steel turbo headers for the LS. There is a few options out there that are up and forward for the Ford small block or for the Mustang. They just get a little up there in price. So I figure why not go ahead and just make them myself. It's not that big a deal. The flanges aren't that expensive and then the V-bands aren't that expensive either. So, so what we have is Flowtech up and forward LS1 or LS manifolds. And what you have to do is you have to cut them down. So this is one of the manifolds right here. Regular LS manifold. I'll go ahead and I'll put a, a picture up in the description over here while I'm talking about them. How I'm going to set them up. But these are the two manifolds. They're... LS manifolds 178 primaries with a 3 inch V band outlet. When you get these manifolds, there's, um, there's about, I want to say, like 4 inches on the outlet where the actual stock V band is. What we did is we actually cut these right at the collector on each header and we threw a V band on there. Uh, they're a little bit of a pain in the ass to get on to the actual header themselves once you cut them down because this actual OD of the Flowtech header outlet is not 3 inches. So, so this is the other side of the 3 inch V-band that comes with the Flowtech headers and I'll just show you for reference. If you try to take the actual Flowtech header V-band that comes with it, it it doesn't even fit it doesn't even fit over the actual tubing from the exhaust header so that was not a big deal we went ahead we chopped it all all the way down to the header then what we did is we did a couple of relief slices inside of the outlet of the header you see right here we did some relief slices and then we got that V-band to seat right on the outlet. So yeah, that's basically how I got the V-bands to work on the outlets. As you can see, there's some blood there because I smashed, smashed my hand getting these things on. Um, and that's because I didn't do the relief thing at first. I was trying to get them to shrink a little bit and heat up the flanges and get them on and it just wasn't working. So, if you look, this is the meat and potatoes of it. We're going to be cutting these primaries right at the flange. And then we'll be swapping on small block Ford flanges. So, if you look... Primary spacing is exactly the same. So I could probably modify the actual LS flange itself, and you just cut either cut new holes or ream out the holes in the existing LS manifold. But to, we got the welder, we got the rod, so why not go ahead? Take it up and it'll be all set, bolt it right to the head and get everything marked up. Then we have the turbo elbows. So I talked about these before. These are the three to two and a half inch turbo elbows from CX Racing. What I did is I cut these down like uh, I say I want to say like an inch on each side. So we cut them down an inch on each side 
and then we have the the flanges here this is from vs racing for the actual inlet of the exhaust side and then this is just um the other side of that v-band flange i ordered a new set of v-band flanges because obviously you don't have another one anymore unless you cut this one off and you put it on the end of the header which we'll just i'm going to use this for like practicing and stuff like that so that works so we have the outlet on the header here and then we have the inlet for the turbo we'll go on there we'll get that welded up and then it'll be our turbo elbow. now we're cutting these down um because you are going from two and a half down to bigger three inch when you're cutting these down you might have to do some modification to the actual elbow like taking down beveling the edges to get it sit inside that v-band flange and then for the three inch side you're cutting it down to a smaller nominal size so it gets a little loose but not too loose but it's definitely enough to where you can still get a pretty decent weld in there a little loose but we can center it and then it should be all set so that's pretty much it we like I said we'll be swapping the flanges to the small block flanges we got two of them we already got the outlets chopped off with the v-band flanges already on the outlets we got to weld up these turbo elbows we got the waste tape tubing that's gonna go somewhere kind of like that off the back of the 90 uh, for the turbo inlet We'll figure out spacing or placement for the wastegates once we get the turbos mounted in the car, all hooked up to the V-bands and free hanging on their own. Then we might get some Maven oil turbo mount. So what a Maven oil turbo mount is, is it mounts to the oil drain where the oil drain of the turbo is, and then it has two sides where you can weld a one inch uh, steel tube to mount them somewhere so we might mount them like off to the side on the frame rail or figure out a way with the tube front we'll figure out a way with the tube front to mount them so it'll be on the the drain of the turbo and then probably go down here to the frame rail somewhere and then it'll have a uh, one inch tube which I have I have DOM tube and it'll come up in a bend and then it'll hit that maven mount we'll weld it to the maven mount and then that will be a fixed mount for the turbo itself that's an update on the ls manifold swap this is part one hopefully part two the next time we're welding these things up i just need to get power run to the welder once i get power run to the welder i went ahead and got a dual outlet argon regulator so we're gonna run a line so that we can go all fancy mechanics and back purge the header while we're welding the header and when we're welding these turbo elbows. So that should be fun because I've never done any back purging before. So we'll see how that goes. I got a lot of stuff I wanna practice with because it's been a while, it might be a little rusty. Practice makes perfect with welding. But other than that, I hope you like the channel. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you back. This is where things start getting real cool. We start getting things welded. And until next time, I'll catch you later.